Advancing technology has Minnesota lawmakers sounding the alarm and struggling to keep up with the digital age. A new bill in the legislature would create harsh punishments for anyone using artificial intelligence in a malicious way. Joining us here in the studio to explain all of this is ABC6 News reporter Maisie Olson. Maisie, uh, talk to us a little bit about what is making lawmakers so nervous, this artificial intelligence. Yeah, James, for people who don't know, it is pretty alarming. Imagine if someone altered a video of you making you do or say something that never really happened. Now, because of the rising popularity of artificial intelligence, more people are at risk of becoming a victim, and lawmakers are racing to catch up. What you are watching might not be real, which is really a scary thing to think about. It's called a deep fake, and Minnesota lawmakers say this use of artificial intelligence is a major public safety risk. And put anybody's face on anybody's body and make it look like people are doing things they have never done, which is disturbing to say the least. The author of the bill says 96% of deep fakes on the internet are pornographic. The scariest part, experts say it's almost impossible to tell if the video is fake. The rate at which it's advancing is like it outpaces our ability to regulate it. A new bill flying through the Minnesota House and Senate would create criminal penalties for anyone distributing or posting deep fake sexual images of someone without their consent. In the Senate version, anyone distributing deep fakes would face a $10,000 fine and up to five years in prison. While it can be difficult to determine penalties for crimes like this, Olmsted County District Attorney Mark Ostrom says you have to consider how the victim is impacted. This is the type of case that we can't undo the image. Once it's out there in, in cyberspace, we can never retrieve it. And, and so it's always going to be there for the rest of that person's life. The other aspect of the bill would ensure deep fakes don't hurt a political candidate or the integrity of an election. It's deception and, you know, in a time of uh, disinformation and misinformation around elections, which is dangerous in itself, um, this is a sort of a new level of that. Now, the bill passed the Senate this week almost unanimously, and the House is expected to do the same. And Rochester Senator Liz Bolden says she expects differences between the bills to be decided on next week before it's expected to hit Governor Tim Walt's desk. James.